Hey guys, what is going on? Morbid Al here, all the gear, no idea. Welcome back to another video and time for another upgrade. Had a little bit of luck coming up with a little bit of money and I thought I'd treat myself and I've bought myself a GeForce GTX 770. This is the uh, MSI Twin Frozer Gaming. Um, yeah, pretty badass, one of, the, one of the 770s. So I've got this today, haven't even unboxed it yet. Got it ready for you guys. It's going to be Gorilla Star One boxing. You know the deal. You know the score. You know how it all goes down. It's all shaky camera work. It's badly lit. It's like I'm, I'm using. I'm actually using my extra shit camera that ain't even HD. That's how old this camera is. Because the one that does do HD, which is just not much better, um, the battery's gone flat on it. So I've had to use this one. So that is why this is only at like 540p or something. So. Uh, Really sorry about that, but that's uh, what all the gears, all, all the gear, no idea is about. You should know that by now. So anyway, we're going to go in and we're going to do a quick unboxing, in and out of shop. Not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Blah blah blah. See you. That's the box. Uh, making sure I'm keep, keeping it short. It's actually quite nice with that kind of a uh, embossed print on the top. So let me see what we got in the old magic box. Various bits and pieces. So is that all the, oh that's the user guide that us blokes never read. Right, so that's the installation disk and all that, that's probably got the, the, the new drivers and everything. Again, quite obsolete, download the latest drivers, I think there's a new driver that's literally just come out, what's the date? It's the 30th of May 2014, um, and there's actually a new driver that's just come out, I'm pretty sure it's probably optimised for watchdogs, which... I did get a copy of with this graphics card, so that's pretty cool. So you don't really need that. Download the latest Afterburner, download the latest NVIDIA drivers. So again, that goes to one side. What are these here? Are these, these better not be what I think they are. So these are four pin, six pin to four pin uh, converters. So that's a bit strange. But they actually look pretty cool. At least, you, if you've seen my video of my unboxing of my um, GTX 570, at least they're not including Molex to uh, uh, six-pin connections or the PC PCI connections anymore. Because that was just like, why are you doing that? Shouldn't be doing it. Your power supply is not powerful enough if you've got to you tap into the Molex connections. But these look like they're like six-pin to eight-pin adapter. So I don't think I need this because I think um, my PCI... Uh, power is they're actually 8 pin anyway so that's not too bad but they do actually look pretty cool with a nice red and all that but shame I won't be using them speaking of things you don't use you don't use this you do not use fucking uh, whatever that DVI to VGA my god what are you doing don't use them DVI or HDMI Ooh, I don't know why they put these in there I really don't know why they put these in there throw that away so we move that out of the way. What's that? I think that's my that's my copy of Watch Dogs. Excellent. I'll be uh, installing that, and the code's behind this, so you can't see it. And by the time you watch this, I've probably downloaded it anyway. So uh, there we go. So we do this, and oh, now we get to the main event. The main event. Sorry, it's been a really long day, and I'm really looking forward to getting this. So. This is actually, this is actually quite light. This is no way. This ain't as heavy as um. Doesn't certainly doesn't feel as heavy as my um. Uh, GTX 570. As I said, I'm not going to go into the specs of all this because you probably know what these are all about. And don't put messages. Oh, is this 770 better than that 770? This certainly ever. This certainly ever. They're all kind of much of a muchness. This was the best for the price for the money that I had. This was the best one I could afford. So, yeah, maybe one that is a bit more expensive is going to be a little bit better. But hey, oh, look at you! Look at you, you beauty! So, nice big fans. I don't know what size fans those are actually. They, they're looking like they're knocking on the door of maybe 70 odd mil or something. So, yeah, it's got a uh... all oh, right. So, yeah, as, as we saw earlier, yeah, they are 8 pin. It's the first time I've actually had an 8 pin connection on my um. I'll be using the 8-pin connections. All my other previous graphics card have had 60. Look at that nice big pipe there. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I don't know what these... I don't think you see it. I don't actually know what those are. I'm, just, I'm literally just unboxing this. But looks pretty cool, though. So we've got all the uh, all the blurb. Looks the business. Is there a switch on here so you can have two 
um, whoops, sorry, nearly knocked the camera over, where you can have two, what's the word I'm looking for, two overclocking profiles, where you can have like an extreme one or not, I don't know, I can't actually see any extra knobs and switches, sorry, I'm flipping in and out of a in and out shot, but that does look the business, so we've got, blimey, how many outputs out here, so we've got a, two DVI outputs, uh, one HDMI and what's the other one called? Oh, I can't remember what that's bloody called now. Is it actually written on it? Is it? Oh, I can't remember. Display DisplayPort? DisplayPort. I don't know. This is what all the gear is all about. I just you just unbox it. I'm just going to whack it in. So that is this is the uh, the Twin Frozer GTX 770. Looks pretty badass. Whack that in the case. She's going to sit in like that. Look at that pipe, man. That is really going to sort out some heat. But it's definitely not as... Um, the heat pipe doesn't look as bulky as what it is on my old 570. It's definitely a lot sleeker. Got all the bits and pieces on the back. Uh, your SLI bridge, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that looks really, really nice. I'm going to be running Battlefield. I should be able to run its Battlefield on its full settings. Just as a note... Um, Please check me out on Twitch. I do a hell of a lot of streaming, getting owned and cloned in, um, uh, usually in Battlefield. It's twitch.tv forward slash morbid hour. I'll put a link at the bottom of the description and stuff like that. So please pop by. I will be streaming this weekend with this tutti fruity settings, max chat. I've got the 470 in there, uh, the 4770K. So everything should look pretty cool. So that looks really nice. So I'm going to take you off the tripod now. So you know what it's like on all the gear, motion sickness tablets. So that is going to go, I've literally got my um, old system in. So what's going to happen is effectively the 570, my previous, the Twin Fruiser 3, the, twin, the GTX 570 is going to go down to where the 275 was. So obviously the, the 770 is going to go in here. And that's going to go there, and my old 275, GTX 275, is going to go to someone on eBay, probably. So I don't think these actually shift around for a lot of wedge. But that's basically what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut the video, and then I'm going to film on my mobile, because my mobile phone is actually better quality than this, better sound, just better. And um, I think I'm actually running out of uh, minutes on this. I've only got a few more seconds left before the video goes. So what will be a split second for you will be a few hours for me. So I'm going to cut the video, and the next time you see it, this will be installed. So it's Morbid Hour, all the gear, be back momentarily. 